Jack Harlow and Dave, Stop Giving Me Advice, directed by Cole Bennett. Let's get it. Huh. Have you ever raised the value of everyone around you? Have you ever been so high they gotta down you? Think peace is getting written about you. Have you ever been to Italy and eaten Italian? Have you ever signed a deal that came with a medallion? Come Have on. you ever booked a club and came with a battalion? Mm. Have you been to Montana and seen the mountains? Have you ever Yo, so I think because Jack Harlow got poppin' off what's poppin'. Nah, you see I did that. But I think we disrespect his pen. Like, Jack Harlow can rap. He can rap his ass off but when you get a catchy what's popping brand new whip just hopped it when you get something with that much bounce and flavor then on top of it it's like he never runs from he's a jokey white boy it's like all those kind of things i think sometimes we discredit what the nigga does with on the rapping end and he really gets busy he really does hold on he said have you ever raised the come on huh Have you ever raised the value of everyone around you? Have you ever been so high they gotta down you? Think peace is getting written about you? Have you ever been to Italy and eaten Italian? Have you ever signed a deal that came with a medallion? Have you ever booked a club and came with a battalion? Have you been to Montana and seen the mountains? Have you ever looked around and felt a profound sense of pride? Oh no, that didn't hit you and felt a profound sense of pride. Oh no, because Stop giving me advice. So I understand you got to go with the narrative given just by the title. That's all you have walking into the record. He's building up. He's giving. He's gi he's giving his justification as to why he might not want to receive advice from motherfuckers right now. And and while you know you got to take it with a grain of salt, I, I really do believe just because someone isn't better than you or living better than you it doesn't mean that they can't give you an advice there's things i've read in my comments like i didn't know you could click the space bar and make a video start playing shit like that that advice niggas have given me on doing youtube that i've incorporated into the in my shit and helped me make things roll smoother but at the same time you do gotta remember like motherfuckers some niggas don't have a youtube channel so if, if they start saying things like talking about like copyright claims and stuff like that some people are just talking out their ass right and so Jack Harlow saying like, bro, I've, I've, have you ever signed a deal that came with a medallion? Have you ever ha gone to the club and had to bring a battalion uh, saying like, you need to roll so deep because of the circumstances and what you're going in? It's not just so surface level. There's deeper to it. There's a reason why he has to go or move in said way. So he's just saying early on, I'm taking that like, how can a nigga give advice on something he's never never experienced and you don't get all the little nuances and intricacies it takes to just survive being jack harlow and that's fair and dave i see dave let's come on dave come on have you ever had to hide where exactly you reside have you been to the waffle house on north side have uh -huh. you ever made a pop star want to be your bride uh -huh. oh no that nigga said the waffle house on the north side that's for the hood niggas let's go jack someone and they cried have you had your heroes situated ever had to hide where exactly you reside have you been to the waffle house on north side have you ever made a pop star want to be your bride have you hugged someone and they cried have you had your heroes sit you down and give you the guide have you ever spoken something into existence or do you just talk about other people's lives Stop. that's that's real nigga shit that is real nigga shit because what I said before, you must take with a grain of salt. There are, there's a lot of people whose job it is to make people sound bad. The YouTube haters, the fucking vlog channels, the sports analysts, the like, they're not looking for a reason to tell you LeBron James is good. He'll score 30 points. Skip Bayless is just trying to sh highlight the one thing he did wrong. And so you got to remember, a lot of these niggas, you are you for a reason, baby. You made it to wherever you made it to for a reason. And that nigga didn't make it to wherever he wants to be. You know, that, 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 that quarterback, what's this? The sideline quarterback, no couch. You know what I'm saying? Straight from the couch, quarterback and, you know, Strong honey yards. He he didn't make it for a reason. So you do gotta take it like, yeah, fuck this nigga a little bit. Fuck this nigga a little bit. And and it you gotta look at intentions too. I'm giving me advice. So do you just talk about other people's lives? Uh huh. Stop giving me advice. Stop it. Stop giving me. Stop, Stop giving it. me advice. Stop giving him advice. Stop.
it. All this unsolicited advice from the guys getting booked for a quarter of my price. All this red carpet shit, brand partnerships. I must have let y'all forget that boy nice. No Sprite, but like. <laughs> but now he's popping his shit. Now he's doing that big dog, just reminding you of status. Come on, bro, you getting it for a quarter of my price. They booking you, but they ain't booking you in how, how they're booking me. They're not all these brand deals and all this shit and, and the commercial success. You guys forgot that I could rap and go back to what's popping. Go back to the what's popping remix. Listen to Jack Harlow by this nigga. Listen to some of his, like, you know, his newer shit. Oh, sorry, did I say Jack Harlow? I meant Tyler Hero. There's not really bad verses on there. You could say a corny line here or there, a line you don't like. You could even say it's not your cup, cup of tea, but you're not going to say the nigga's whack. That's, he's far from whack. He has a way he can approach it, but he's far from whack. So he's saying, nigga, this, this is a reminder. How about you stop giving me advice and just listen or watch? Brand carpet shit, brand partnerships. I must have let y'all forget that boy nice. No oh. Sprite, but life giving me lemons with the limelight. It's fine, uh. victory's mine. I lost the desire for being intimate at the end of my nights. I can do that at the end of my life. You know the phrase is business before pleasure. Because I'm banking on it, bringing me more pleasure. The pressure makes diamonds. The diamonds make more pressure and so on and so on. My nights, I can do that at the end of my life. You know the phrase is business before pleasure. Cause I'm banking on it, bringing me more pleasure. The pressure makes diamonds, the diamonds make more pressure, and so on and so forth. Okay, I'll give you four more measures and more records with more effort than ever before. I'm the young and on the teen has got a veteran core. They know the formula, just give them space and let them record and just remember what he said on the chorus. Jack, no! Diamonds, the diamonds make more pressure and so on and so My nights, I can do that at the end of my life. You know the phrase. And that's fact, just lock in. You know, all, them, all, the, all the, the vanities are vanishing. All these momentary things that, that stop us or, or distract us from the ultimate goal. You do got to sacrifice them bitches. You do got to. And the more you sacrifice and the more you put in, the more those things will come and the more pressure you'll have. Now you a millionaire superstar and now the bitches you turning down, these are these are, are, are pop stars. These are girls that hung up in your sister's room. These is the hoes you seen in the commercial. Your Willie started doing something you just couldn't explain at the time. Now she's right here. But you, but you remember, remember, stay locked in. This might not just be the moment. This is how Jack's coming. This might not be the moment. Let me just... Stay in the gym shooting. Because, bitch, you won with me shooting in the gym. Because when I reach, as we just keep climbing and climbing, maybe when I reach my apex, when I reach where I'm going, then I'll have time for you. Because you might not even really love this version of me. The vers This version of me don't be at the crib. This version of me don't even be in the fucking city. You know what I mean? Like, this business. And then he... Before press before pleasure cuz I'm banking on it bringing me more pleasure the pressure makes diamonds the diamonds make more pressure and so on and so forth okay I'll give you four more measures and more records with more effort than ever before I'm the young and on the teen has got a veteran chord and the formula just give him space and let him record and just remember what he said on the chord what you said stop giving me advice stop giving him advice stop giving me just cut it out stop giving me advice stop before this starts, you know, this Jack Harlow, major American artist, and in case I've been reacting to reacting to UK music for um, what feels like years now. This Dave, this guy Santana Dave, you about to hear, is literally I say my favorite rapper. Now I haven't been hearing as much of him because, like, I've literally reacted to almost all of his catalog, except for the ones that got blocked, but. This is this is that nigga, and I'm j I just had a preferences by by a preferences by saying this nigga is that nigga. Let's go, come on. Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me. Yeah. Stop giving me advice. Yeah. Stop. I know you feel love, feel shame, feel pride. I can see it in your eyes. I'm at a fan at work. Told me it's his job on the side As if I'm unimpressed by his everyday life Niggas die every day, beat us every day life The woman that you idolize can never play wife to me When you done this And, and just people that he's coming for And I, I 
the greatness of Dave is the everyman. And so like the person he's talking from such a, it's stop giving me advice, right? but he's talking almost from the perspective of what I was saying before. It's like the guy instantly, you know, being around Dave, you could feel that he was had some kind of insecurities. And he's like, oh, this is sort of like a side hustle I do. And Dave is thinking like, that don't, that don't matter. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I think what you're doing is impressive. I think what you're doing is dope. Just like how you think what I'm doing is dope. And it's just like very nuanced perspective. But it's like, that's why I like that shit. Pop your shit if you're rich. If you have a lot of money, talk about it. But just talk about it in a way, like, it get, that's perspective that I don't have. I, ain't, I don't know what that's like. I ain't met a nigga to be around me. Like, sometimes niggas be like, oh, you do YouTube and shit, but like, boy, I ain't in here hunting me. And that nigga, Dave, be sucking a uh, uh, creme brulee off these bitches' feet. This nigga get real money now. Dave, yeah, that's everyday life. Aside, as if I'm unimpressed by his everyday life. Niggas die every day, be that's everyday life. Mm. The woman that you idolize can never play wife to me. When you've done as many flights as me, long nights as me. Took as many left turns to make right as me. I'm in the middle of the veil like a bride to be. That's why I like to... You left somebody that you love at the bottom of a mountain Could they afraid to climb it? Have you changed your climate? Had an insta and made her change the private Had a fly economy and make her change the private senior You left, oh my god You left somebody at, that you loved at the bottom of the mountain Because you were scared to climb it I, I react to like this nigga named Ren And he's always talking about capitalism About how terrible capitalism is And how terrible the rich are But there is a nobility to amassing any amount of riches There's a nobility to it Because we all have people we love Who are, it could be better I'm not saying that like your mom or your dad's fucked up out here. I'm not saying your kids are fucked up out here. But if I handed you a million dollars cash right now, you could fix a lot of shit for them. You could make their lives a lot better. You could do a lot of shit. The, the easy thing to do is to just, ah, oh, it's fucked up. The system doesn't work for me. The hard thing to do is climb that goddamn mountain because it is a, it's climbable it is something that is actually achievable you could make you and your family better off for it you could through this system that was created fucked up system but there's some cool shit to it right Niggas, if, if you've ever had Thanksgiving on food stamps or government assistance and you then allow, you're, you never allow that to happen to your kids. I'm not saying you've got to be a millionaire, billionaire, but you just make sure they always got food in the fridge. My nigga, you did something. You were a noble man. Maybe you didn't climb that mountain to the mountaintop, but you at least tried. You at least tried and you pulled you and the people you love up a little higher and maybe you couldn't do it. Maybe you couldn't finish it, but because you set that next generation up just right, your kid climbs that bitch even higher than you and maybe he doesn't get it, but his kid and shit like that. So there is a keep climb the goddamn mountain. Nigga, this fucking hip hop. I'm tired of people coming in hip hop. This shit was here to change, save lives. This is what it's for, niggas, is get this fucking bag. This is what it is for. Don't let these niggas who don't understand what poverty and struggling and hunger and fucking bread and ketchup sandwiches with water to fill your stomach up is like. They don't get that shit. So they think that it's okay. Nah, bro, keep grinding. Keep getting to this fucking bag. To me, right as me. I'm in the middle of the veil like a bride to be. That's why I like to. In the middle of the veil like a bride to be, nigga. Yeah. You left somebody that you love at the bottom of a mountain. Could they afraid to climb it? Have you changed your climate? Had an insta and made her change the private. Had a fly economy and make her change the private. Seen your nigga get nicked. And then go and catch a case just like him. Brought her to the game and she ain't excited. Probably come my mum sat court side for I did. Am I sick if I say I like women with mileage and trips to Knightsbridge? Old Jemima trips in a park with my oldest rider to test out the nine like I loaned a striker. I'm alone. So and I ain't mad at you, nah, dog. I need a little. I need a situation with some mileage on her. I, I just, I, you know what I'm saying, nigga. We was in some, done did some things. And I'm a little bit free, but I just, 
I don't want you, I don't want the car to be on its last legs now, god damn it. But, you know what I'm saying? Put a little 30,000 miles on my shit. Let me know the engine run. You know what I mean? I don't even check. Car got three miles on it. I know that bitch even work. Survivor. With my oldest rider. To test out the nine like a lone the striker. I'm a lone survivor. And I I like women with mileage and trips to Knightsbridge, old Jemima. Trips in a park with my oldest rider to test out the nine like I loaned a striker. I'm a lone survivor. And the way I spell loan is A O O A N. I don't ever want to spend on a whole. A O L O. And the way I spell loan is A O O A N. I Nigga alone, like a bank loan. <laughs> and you gotta get Dave. A lot of niggas slept on this UK shit, slept on what these, like some of the Central C, all these niggas who really make it, and this is the best of the best. He is. But you gotta get Dave. Jack, you want another moment, right? You want another moment. You gotta get Dave. These niggas in the UK have cooked up something that is so undeniable that you know the value of this song. And you notice Dave, you don't really see the features. It's just like Dave and nigga. Like, I don't, we don't even know who this going to. But yeah, you you had to get Dave. You did. I don't ever want to spend on a whole again. But I'm a fucking feminist, so I go again. I'm on a roll again. Yeah. You can't control what the heart feels. You soon go broke. I see you blowing it fast still. Death row. You niggas down to your last meal. You ever sign a seven figure deal on a bird's quill? Can't even call. That's wrong. Death row, you niggas down to your last meal. You ever signed a seven figure deal on a bird's quill? Can't even call it breakfast, car. It wasn't your first meal. For a nine figure deal with a bird's quill, like a quill pen. You can't even call it breakfast because it wasn't your first meal. Birthdays, but remember, I see you blowing it fast still. Death row, you niggas down to your last meal. You ever sign a seven figure deal on a bird's quill? Can't even call it breakfast. And the last meal, breakfast, uh, death row, last meal, first meal is just. Oh, you niggas down to your last meal. You ever sign a seven figure deal on a bird's quill? Can't even call it breakfast, car. It wasn't your first meal. Forgotten birthdays, but remember your verse still. Yeah, you ever fucked a supermodel and it sounds like skeletons don't. For, you for, he forgets birthdays, but he hasn't forgot his verses, man. And it puts him in a situation where he's looking at life like, what do I pri do I prioritize this? Is this what I, have I now put this above my loved ones? It's a it's a true struggle that niggas going through, and it's just nobody does it better than this guy. And a lot of niggas hate on Drake. I don't get it. I don't because it's like it's somebody who are to, oh he's talking about this money shit. Yeah, this nigga signing like hundred million dollar deals. Of course his life's gonna be extravagant and he, he just does a really good job of articulate exactly what he's thinking and feeling at any given moment in a a very sonically pleasing way. That's how I feel like Dave and also Dave has this weird flow, which is real unorthodox to me, where it's like it feels spoken word poetry esque, like where he's just talking, and then there will be moments of, but most of the time he's just like talking to you. Nine seven figure deal on a bird's quill can't even call it breakfast, car. It wasn't your first meal. Forgotten birthdays, but remember your verse still. Yeah, you ever fucked a supermodel when it sounds like skeletons dancing? You feel numb to the praise and the memories passing. You ever rub someone and it sounds like asking? Didn't have no food, so you disguise it as fasting. Had drugs, abused perfume, trying to. Sounds like skeleton, cause he's so bony and robbing it. Give me your, hey, give me, it sounds like asking. No money, no food in your fridge? So you went hungry, you disguised it as fasting? Skeletons dancing. You feel numb to the praise and the memories passing. You ever rub someone and it sounds like asking. Didn't have no food, so you disguised it as fasting. Had drugs, abused perfume, trying to mask it. You ever lived the life of an artist, escaping darkness. Finds are you paying for parking. You can tell how she fucked by the way that she glancing. Your communication bad, but you're rich, so she's giving you chances. And pretty women giving you dances. I come with a pole, but she more Olivia than Francis. You ever been... Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me. Stop. Stop. Stop giving me advice. Jack, you got stop. body. 
And I love Jack Harlow that he's willing to put such high tier rappers on his shit. Cause like, yeah, they out rapped him, but it wasn't like, yeah, he bodied him. But like, and same with Drake. But it's like, nah, he rapped too. Jack rapped his ass off. I don't want to take that. He got killed, but it's like, and that shit hip hop. Someone, a lot of niggas is gonna get killed. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean your shit is bad. Mac Miller got killed in the end is near by Absol. That is the best Mac Miller verse of all time. It was so uh, it's the most cold wickedness. Old folk killing shit. Broke no benefits. Smack him in his face and then I'm blowing smoke into it. I obliterated on a bigger stage. Yeah, I figured fame was just a bitch's game. And so, but he he got his head chopped off by Absol on that bitch. <laughs> Stop giving me advice. Stop, stop. Stop giving me. Stop. Stop giving me advice. Stop giving me that. Stop. Stop. And this video is crazy. That nigga Cole Bennett is really like Steven Spielberg. That was a certified vibe check. Here goes another reaction vibe right here. Bing music video. I'm right there. Pow. Click on it. Show me some love. If you watch the video as long as you didn't hit that thumbs up button. You a hoe, so stop being a hoe. KBD family, love y'all. Salute. I am gone.